Are grapes good for the heart and blood? Many ancient civilizations realized the health benefits of the grapevine and its fruit, Vitus vinifera. The epidemics of heart disease and type 2 diabetes in more recent history have stimulated experimental research into the medicinal value of consuming grapes and the wines produced from fermented grape. S. Including grapes in your diet may help prevent heart disease and diabetes. These benefits are likely due to classes of phytonutrients in grapes called polyphenols and phenolic acids. Composition A 151 gram 1 cup serving of red or white table grapes contains no fat. 27 grams of total carbohydrate, mainly as sugars, 5% of the recommended daily intake of dietary fiber and 27% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C. Grapes are also relatively high in potassium. Importantly, grapes contain compounds called polyphenols and phenolic acids. Anthocyanins, are a subtype of polyphenols that are responsible for the deep red, blue and purple or black color of grape skins. Another well-known polyphenol is called resveratrol, which has been associated with good heart health. Heart disease Atherosclerosis is a type of heart disease resulting in the buildup of low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, cholesterol, also called bad cholesterol, in artery walls, especially those of the heart and brain. Atherosclerosis can cause a heart attack or stroke. The polyphenols in grapes can help to protect you from heart disease by suppressing the process of atherosclerosis. Although this benefit of grapes has often been attributed to the anthocyanins and resveratrol found in grape skins, the phenolic acids found in grape flesh may also play an important role. Therefore, you do not necessarily have to eat dark-colored grapes to obtain the heart-healthy benefit of grapes, as white grapes also contain phenolic acids. Blood Lipids any beneficial effect of grapes on your blood lipid level is likely due to anthocyanins and resveratrol present in the skins. The effect of these compounds may be mediated primarily in your liver through reduced production of lipoproteins that raise your LDL cholesterol. For example, a resveratrol may increase the conversion of cholesterol into bile acids in your liver, which lowers the availability of cholesterol for secretion with lipoproteins into your blood. Anthocyanins may lower the triglyceride content of your liver, which lowers the secretion of triglyceride-rich lipoproteins that also raise the LDL cholesterol level in your blood. Blood sugar. Glycemic index is a measurement of the relative ability of a food to raise your blood glucose level after ingesting it. Whereas glycemic load is a calculation involving glycemic index, which takes into account the amount of available carbohydrate present in the food. Both values are low in grapes. A rise in your blood sugar causes your pancreas to secrete insulin into your blood. Because grapes do not tend to elevate your blood sugar too much after eating them, grapes will not increase your blood insulin level too much either. Since high insulin levels cause insulin resistance, grapes will help to prevent you from developing the insulin resistance characteristic of type 2 diabetes.